So the masks I've shown previously, um, I think are still gonna be superior to this as far as filtration. However, this is going to be an option that is going to still hopefully be even better than an N35 mask. So, um, you know, a custom fit mask, whatever, that really infiltrates and uh, filters and at a higher level is great, but not quite as readily accessible for everyone. Um, and maybe more than is necessary. So this is what is kind of where I'm headed towards right now for the more mass availability and accessibility. Okay, so this is just something I'm working on right now. I've got a much longer video I'll go out through on YouTube for assembly and everything. But suffice to say, this component right here that is rounded and curved around my face came out of the printer flat. And there's two pieces, an inner frame to keep the mass suspended so that we have more uh, surface area, better airflow, and then the outer one that keeps it secure against the face. So the idea, the first, pers first place I saw it, like a printed mass uh, frame like this was Bellus 3D. If you use their iPhone app, the Bellus 3D uh, face app, you can take a face scan and then it will generate a file that fits right around your face, which is awesome. The problem is, is you then need a 3D printer to make that and it's also got a lot of supports. With this approach, you take a flat piece, some, we can print these in mass, heat form them, so you do need to use an FDM printer, so you heat form it and then you can you know, use it to secure the mask. And the part that I added was the internal component that creates a frame, and again, allows the mask to stick out away from your mouth, uh, which is nice, but not just for comfort, but also for increased surface area. Because when you start sucking them up against your face like this, um, I've taught, people have mentioned going to their office, uh, office and struggling to get even, tw you know, more than, much more than 20 minutes because it's a bit, a bit um, suffocating. I mean, it helps, it works, it's great, it's safe, but... Yeah, um, so by pushing this out like this, you get more surface area. So um, let me see in the mirror. Um, I don't have the elastic. Now, technically, you need elastics. They're going to run from here around your, your ear. That's what pulls it up tight against your face. So this is not the final thing, um, but just you can kind of see how it works. So now we've got much more surface area um, than if it was just laying flat against your face. So anyway, I'll throw these files up. I'm going to be changing. I've still got more changes to go, but um, the kind of the cool thing about this is I can always reheat mold it. And sh I mean, right now I can tell it's a little bit off my nose, so I'm going to heat it up and push it back. I'm also going to stretch it out wider. When it comes out, it's a very it's a, it's just an oval, okay? And it's two pieces that are fused together, so you shape them together and then you separate the two of them so that you have an inner shell and an outer shell, and they snap together somewhat, okay? Um, but anyway, it's, you can tell how secure it is. It's not falling off my face. Once you add the elastics to pull back here, then you have it very snug um, up against your face and, good, and hopefully decent airflow. That's it. I'll get these files up. Again, if you download, if you print it, this whole thing was about 50 cents. And it's reusable is the idea because um, you're not going to want to heat mold it every single time. But, um, and PETG is the, re is the filament I've used, okay? Because that you can clean and that's important. So the other thing to keep in mind is, um, yeah, it's about 50 cents in filament. So if you, if it ends up something you want to redo it because I've updated the design, hopefully that's easier uh, to swallow. Um, anyway, hopefully this helps. Uh, I'll get this uploaded in just a little bit. Thanks.